Here we have a 2007 on an 07 registration Van Hool T911 Alacron 41 seat executive coach. Now, you don't get many of these popping up for sale. Um, and if I'm being honest, it's the first time I've come across one this age. It looks like it's leaning, it's probably because I've put that front wheel there in a pothole. Um, it's nothing sort of suspension related. You can see we've got a bit of a uneven yard to deal with, so it's not, not always easy. But getting back to the vehicle, very straight on the bodywork, I have to say. No issues on the offside. Alloy wheels are fitted, although they could do with a bit of a polish. We've also got rear continental door under the bonnet DAF engine driven through a ZF fully automatic gearbox that is, and the, the engine has or the exhaust system has been uprated to Euro 6 so this has got a Euro 6 conversion um, on it which doesn't come without its problems, as we'll see in a second. Uh, not with problems, more just like the usual ECU stuff. Um, we're just waiting for someone to come and have a look at some lights that have popped up through communication faults. But getting back to the near side, again, it's all good. Parallel opening lockers, loads of luggage. You won't complain about that on a full-size coach, let's be honest. So plenty of room in there for anything. And one thing I always look at, I mentioned we've got a bit of an uneven yard. There's lots of reasons for that sometimes. It's just something as simple as if you put if you concreted it, your business rates are double. You know, but I look at that. Now that says to me they're not trying to spend any money on maintenance. Okay. Always look at premises as well when you look at a vehicle and it's the first time I've sold vehicles for coast to coast I didn't mention that am I did I we're at uh, coast to coast travel up in uh, Ardrossen on the as you can see there the Ayrshire coast not exactly cracking the flags but here we are but yeah you know um, when I go into an operator I've never dealt with before I always have a good look round at the premises and that says to me Mechanically, we're going to be good. Anyway, let's jump on board. 41 reclining seats <coughs> with lap belts. Initially, when I saw this interior, I thought G-Line. No. No, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I need to do a bit more research, but there's things that are putting me off going down that road. Uh, we've got leather piping and headrest inserts it is original trim and whilst um, the, the cloth isn't showing signs of wear and tear the the leather is doing but 16 year old you know so it's not going to be perfect if it's never been uh, never been trimmed one of the things that makes me think it's not a G line is the odd curtains you've got two different coloured curtains in here so that's one thing that makes me think that. But yeah, when we get nearer to the back, we do start having a bit more issues with leather. So it might be ready for a retrim. You know, it's, you can't, you can run it like this. It just depends what you're going to use it on, doesn't it? Uh, we've got doors to the hat racks. One thing uh, I forgot to mention is a uh, rear floor mounted toilet in the offside corner. Always the best place for a toilet. Rear floor mounted out the way and easy for access we've got a carpet to the aisle we're fully air conditioned obviously um, the other thing I would say had it been a G mind you maybe not because it's not got a drinks facility might have had though it would have had um, you would be evidence of having drinks holders on the side walls so maybe it wasn't maybe it's just a stock vehicle that's got the same maquette that G-Line used I don't know just as I said that was my initial thoughts but we'll do a bit of research 
Flicker's not telling me much, but uh, the HPI will. We're wired for DVD with one monitor. As I said, these they're always desirable, these little 10, 10 and a half metre coaches. Um, and I've no doubt, you know, this one will be, especially if it's got a Euro 6 can on it. Because that means that, you know, if you're on a budget and you're in a clean air zone, it solves a problem, doesn't it? The usual windows of that one started to go, the one above the driver, the one above the door's well gone, but that's just fairly standard on uh, older T9s. Dash is all in good order. Um, wood effect trim, which is fairly standard for this time, you know, this era of vehicle. Uh, looks like, I've checked, I can't, get any disc out of the sat nav box so i'm not sure if there's one in or not but it looks like it's all wired up and ready to go with the sat nav um maybe it just needs a new disc so we're going to say it's wired for sat nav rest of the dash as i said is in good order you've got your courier seat there is a fridge by the courier seat which is probably only used to keep the driver's butt is cold these days uh but all in all you know for a 16 year old vehicle with the added bonus of a Euro 6 um, exhaust conversion it's a tidy little thing so to recap it's 2007 on an 07 T911 Alacron 41 seat executive coach